Hey, thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for being on. How you guys? How you guys doing? You want to go get a beer or something? Oh, look at these faces! It's <laughs> I know. Hey, I just came for Steph. That's it. It's ew. Hey, I just, I'm. I just I? To see Steph. Clean it's it been a minute. We're glad that you're on here because we, Thanks. you know, we had to have you on. We're talking yeah. about Better Off Dead. But we I know. Just away. Well, all we the movies been. that you guys have been doing trivia on, I mean, all of them. I'm like, well, Chad, <laughs> like to I know. talk about that. Is your Facebook page uh, private or is it uh, something anybody can join? Because I want you to plug it. It's a fun, fun website or fun Facebook page. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, Dustin would, <laughs> would know better than me. He it, helped yeah, me set it's it up. public. Yeah, it's public. It okay? Anybody can anybody can sign up or yeah, follow. Yeah, I gotta I gotta start posting stuff on that more. Yeah, it's fun and people well, like it. I like it. Post right. a clip of this. Yeah. This will be one way to get it going. I'll do that in two <laughs> seconds. Yeah, yeah we'll. Be. Yeah. I mean, if people don't know what we're talking about, we I I enlisted Dustin to help me start a Facebook page called uh, um, "Sorry Your Mom Blew Up, Ricky," and we we just post all kinds of '80s movie yeah. lines and gifts and scenes and stuff yeah go quote for quote for like you have like a 50 page thread sometimes just going back and forth that's oh, fun it's our generation best. loves that shit because we're the first generation to memorize all that crap well maybe some people but uh we have all those great quotable movies from the 70s and 80s that we love so don't, that... don't quote dr detroit in there though or you get the yeah you... facebook jail did that happen <laughs> did you get it twice or just once that uh, that was like strike two or or something. <laughs> I felt so bad, and then I was posting stuff for Jeff in his stead. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's so it's 1985. This movie comes out. It's the Savage Steve Holland classic, Better Off Dead. Oh, dead, yes, that is right. Which Weird. was I did not realize, basically based on a true story. This was Steve Holland's what? life. Yeah. 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 He tried to make the ski team at his high school. Yep. He was dumped huh. by his girlfriend. He felt suicidal. All of those things happened. He was even actually harassed by a paper boy for money. <laughs> <laughs> and he 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 did a, a short film, I think when he was a, a little kid. Uh and what's the name of that film that he did as a little kid? Uh what is it called? A My 11 year birthday party. Henry Winkler saw it, liked yeah. it so much that he gave him an office at Paramount to write the film and he wrote the film. No way. That sounds no. familiar. What yeah. else has Steve Holland done? I mean, he's done One Crazy Summer. One Crazy okay. Summer. Okay. The cat yeah, cartoon. Yeah. What's that cartoon called? The cat. Um Yeah, he did, he, the cat. Yeah, he's the cat. He did the zonks on the original uh Pressure Luck too. Really? Yeah. yeah. Right. Or the the, or the whammy. He did whammy. that animation. Yeah. 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 So just but, like in one crazy summer, he was he was yeah. like Cusack with the, being an animator, right? Yeah. What's the name of the thing that in uh, I think you should leave that's based on uh, whammy, a chunky or is it a, <laughs> a chunky? Yeah. Is that what it is? Yeah, a chunky, yeah. <laughs> I never watched all of those. Should I go back and watch all yeah. those? Yeah, dude, yeah. absolutely. Well, well, before we talk too much about the movie, let's do the trivia because you're going to get we'll have too many sure. answers come up before right. I do the trivia and then it'll blow the whole fucking thing. All right. So I, I haven't done it. any research okay, right. for what I know in my head. This is pure snow. It's everywhere. Hey, do you know what the street value of this mountain is? It's two dollars. <laughs> Instead, he uses as a chance to put his testicles all over me. Tentacles. N-T. Tentacles. Is he your, uh, your main wiener man? I'm right behind you, buddy. Man, now that's a real shame when folks be throwing away a perfectly good white boy like that. You should not upset mother. You stupid bonehead, I'm gonna activate your dental <laughs> God bless him. Smith, no way. Gee, I'm real sorry your mom blew up, Ricky. So if you've been if you've been keeping up with it, you know I'm gonna read the question, then three answers. Wait till I get all three answers out, and then the first person that says their name, you can answer it. Make okay. a guess. All right. And no, okay. no hey, Can I be um no Steve or Pete or something? Yeah, you can be somebody with one with one uh syllable. Syllable. Like yeah. 
because we have two syllables. So yeah, it takes a little more to get that out. I like Pete. Pete's good. <laughs> All right. What did you say? All right. I said Pat. Pat. Yeah. Pat. I'll be Pat. You can be a, a study in moppishness. <laughs> All right. Here we go. <laughs> go for it. All right. Oh, number one. What is the name of the mountain? Lane Meyer has to ski in order to qualify for the Glendale High School ski team. Jeff. Is it? I. The bigger person. <laughs> oh, is Jeff. It Mount Morgan, Mount Brody, or Mount Darwin? Tim. Yes. Mount Brody. That's right. Wow. <laughs> did you really know that or did you just guess? No, I know it. Really? Mount Brody? I remembered it when she said it. Bonus Jeff, question for you anybody. Were give? See, that, see that Jeff was going to blow it for everybody. <laughs> Jeff was going to say Mount Brody? He, he, he just said Jeff. Uh, all right. <laughs> uh, bonus. According to Uber Dildo Roy Stalin, the runtime must be under this many seconds in order to qualify. I remember. Yeah. Eight. No. <laughs> yeah, 60. No. I don't know the answer to this. Anybody else you want to guess, Dustin? That's a tough one. No. 58 seconds. Okay, listen up. Your running time will be under 58 seconds to even be considered for the team. Oh, uh, it be under 58 seconds. Okay. He's skiing on one ski. <laughs> well, because it, it was under, but then he didn't stop the timer when, when he was supposed to. <laughs> that is oh, true. Yeah. And they yeah, made it go over a minute. Oh, too bad. Real close. Next. Because he's a cheap piece seconds. of crap. Yeah, he yeah. did nail it the first time. Wee! Uh, what you? <laughs> What is Lane Meyer's creepy little brother's name? Is it Otter, Badger, or Beaver? Jeff. Pete. It was Jeff. Badger. Badger likes surprises you can get from cutting the coupons from the boxes. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> but I would have forgotten that if you didn't give me the multiple choice. That was good. Okay, uh, number three. After dumb bitch Beth dumps Lane, What's the first way he tries to kill himself? Is it carbon monoxide poisoning, hanging, or jumping <laughs> off a bridge? Pat, hanging. That's correct. Thank you. A bonus though, why does he decide to back out? I mean, his mom knocks him off the step, but he wasn't I gonna know. do it. So yeah, why yeah. does he decide to back out? What does he say? Yeah, he he, he, he's never been to New York. Wait, this is death here. I haven't even been to New York City. That's right. Okay, so give Jeff the bonus <laughs> question. Right. Number four. We all know psychotic paperboy Johnny Gasparini is trying to collect $2. But how many papers does he say he delivered for that amount? Is it 30, 20, or 24? Dustin, 20. Yes. Johnny. Four weeks. 20 papers, that's $2. That's correct. Wow. I was going to say 24. Papers. It's $2. Plus, <laughs> Plus tip. Plus tip, yes. Uh, snow and jello addict Charles DeMar <laughs> is super pumped about drinking some of his brother's killer eggnog on Christmas Eve. What's the main ingredient? Is it paint thinner, lighter fluid, or turpentine? Pat. Oh, yeah. That was pretty. At the lighter same fluid. Time. I could be home right now, drinking this monster eggnog my brother makes with lighter fluid. <laughs> All right, well, give it. Lighter fluid. I'm taking it. I All don't right. care. I Pat, got it. I mean, Pat, Pat got it. it. Pat. <laughs> <laughs> what classic rock song is the mailman, played by the great Taylor Negron, oh, yeah. listening to on his headphones on his way to deliver the Myers family mail? Is it Inagata DeVita? Hmm. Whole lot of love, or Foxy Lady. Dustin. Tim. Was Foxy that? Lady. Yeah. Oh, was it just, who got it? Was it Tim? I got it? it. It was Foxy Lady. Foxy Lady. Okay. All right. What bonus question? What's the name of the book he delivers to Badger? Oh. Yes. Oh. Go how ahead. To pick, how to pick up trashy oh. women? Right. That's correct, Jeff. <laughs> what does he say? He's like, what's a, what's a, what's a little, little kid, kid like you like doing, you doing with a like, 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 like this? <laughs> Your book on how to pick up trashy women came today. 
What's a little boy like you doing with big boy smut like this? <laughs> um, you, you guys know this. Is what gonna... in the name of all that is holy? <laughs> <laughs> His dad. Yeah. Bring um, him. this is just gonna be who gets it the quickest because I know one of you. I know you guys know the answer to this. Name the, but let me say all three names. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Name the 80s singer actress who showed up in Better Off Dead to sing the titular song at the New Year's Eve dance. Was it, <laughs> was it BB Michaels, EG Daly, or TC Tugger? M. <laughs> Elizabeth Daly. TC Tugger. TC Tugger. TZ Tugger. <laughs> Tim, yes, it was EG Daily. <laughs> I might use that on my next gig, though. EG Tucker? The TC Tugger band. It's from, oh, a, it's from I Think You Should Leave. It's yeah. a, Is it? a shirt with yeah. the TC Tugger. It has a knob on it, so your shirt gets stuck in your belly. You can pull it. I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist. <laughs> okay. All right. What popular cartoon character? Ask Splain if he can also take Beth out since they've broken up. Is it George Jetson, Yogi Bear, Barney Rubble? Jeff. Yeah. It was Jeff. Barney Rubble. Hey there, Elaine. I know this is a little awkward, me being a cartoon and all. I was just wondering how you'd feel if I took out Beth. That is right. It was Barney Rubble. <laughs> 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 Oh, we're almost done. Okay, now Ira, I feel like yeah. you got an advantage on this because you're a car guy. What kind of car are the Korean brothers driving? Uh, yeah. Is it a Chevy Nova, a Ford Falcon, or a Dodge Dart? Jeff. Pat. Oh. Yes, Jeff. For Ford Falcon. The once great champ. Now, a study in mopishness. That's correct. Mm. It and was, it was a station wagon, wagon, though, right? Was it? No, that was. Oh no, that Lane was, was driving car. a station wagon. Yeah, Lane had a right. country wagon. squire. Car is That's not right. a boy. <laughs> Get out of the car! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna Start the windshield wipers on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do have a bonus question though. What year is Lane's badass super sport Camaro? What year is it? Pat, sixty-eight. Yes. Jeff, oh. oh, yes, Jeff. What did you oh. look at? Were you looking at a paper? No, Jeff, were you looking at paper? I feel like Jeff was cheating. Yes, it is a 67. Good job, Jeff. <laughs> anyway, and this is the last question What Howard Jones song is playing during the montage when Lane and Monique are fixing his Camaro? Is it Ooh. what is love? like to get to know you well or things can only get better yeah yes i'd like to get to know you well that's correct like to get to know you well. he, he guessed like you guessed you no well. i knew it was either that or, oh, the, yeah. or the third one but i just okay. like had to visit visualize the scene all right who won tim uh jeff won six points tim had four Pat had two, and Dustin had one, and I'm disappointed because Dustin usually runs the board. <laughs> yeah, well, it's tough, you know. I mean, it, you yeah, got to get in there with the names. Got to say the whole yeah. his whole name too. Yeah, that's what adds a little spice to it. That's the flavor. For but anyway, on, I hope you guys had fun doing that. I had yeah. a fun time putting them together. Yeah, and thank I, you. I tried to. I only did questions if you had to watch the movie. Like I didn't steal any questions from anywhere. I didn't get shit off of Wikipedia or any of that crap. Okay. Oh, I sat there and watched the movie and made questions as I watched the fucking movie. That's so, impressive. That's the sweat that I put into this. I couldn't. You have to pay. You no, you it. have to pay to get um, the Showtime on Paramount Plus. You have to pay more money. So I uh, found uh, uh, somebody that I know downloaded a torrent of it and then um, no. gave, it, gave it to me on a disc. <laughs> and that Who would do such a thing? Fire. So I don't want to besmirch them because they're dead. It was better off stolen. Yeah. <laughs> I know. All right, now let's recite the movie line by line. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Starting with the opening credits. I will you do the geometry problem. Yes. <laughs> All right. 1990, 1985, this movie comes out, directed by Savage Steve Holland. 
uh, and starring John Cusack as Lane Meyer, Curtis Armstrong as Charles DeMar, David Ogden Steers from MASH. And that's pretty much all we know David Ogden Steers from as Al Meyer. And we'll talk. I'm just going to list these people. Kim Darby played Jenny Meyer, the mother. Diane Franklin was Monique Junot, uh, and she was in a ton of stuff, but she's also in The Last American Virgin. Uh, oh, yeah. That was a good movie. I mean, uh, Dan the Man Schneider played Ricky Smith. He was yeah. also head of the class. He also molested a lot of Disney stars. <laughs> Apparently. Allegedly. 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 Yes. <laughs> uh, and uh, if you Google it, there's all sorts of funny names uh, about Dan Schneider. Um, the creator. Yeah. Not, well, yeah, that's what they call him, right? But and, and Jack and Curtis come up with names. Here's, here's a couple of them. I'll read them to you. These are from 4chan years ago. Uh, uh, Dan, the seducer, Dan, teen, better Schneider, Dan, get in the van. Schneider. Oh, Dan, I've had tighter Schneider. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, the fart inhaler Schneider. There's a lot of them. Dan, the overnighter Schneider. <laughs> the Dan, overnight. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, Dan, we got ourselves a screamer Schneider. Dan, <laughs> Dan if you have a daughter, better hide her Schneider. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, no. Jeez. Yes, but he was on head of the class, so let's not knock that. Um, Mrs. Smith was Laura Waterbury. She was great. She's probably the best actress in the in the whole thing, and uh, she uh, she ended up being on soap operas and stuff. Uh, Johnny the Paperboy was uh, Damien Slade, and I don't think he did much acting after that, but he did do a lot of other things. I think he yeah he ran a. Uh, he ran a, a treatment center uh, for addicts, and I know that he's on social media and stuff. He's a photographer huh. now, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, One of those other paper boys was um, what's his face from? Uh, he he was the the other little crony in uh, Christmas Story, the little oh, one, Grover no. Dill. He yeah. one, of the, one of the crew that was chasing him in the night. <laughs> uh, ben when, when when you were talking about Dan Snyder, I was just thinking about one of my favorite little scenes in that movie is when he runs out of the dance and he lets his balloon go yeah. by accident and he goes back for a second and he just goes ah, yeah. nah. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's that when, Damien, jump. when Damien, yeah. Damien Slade was on top of the car hitting it with the newspaper he broke the windshield oh yeah yeah, yeah. with a newspaper yeah, yeah that's well, what he he so hard yeah, yeah they had he to said he was very it. method yep Amanda Weiss played uh, Beth, Lane's ex-girlfriend. She was also Tina Gray in A Nightmare on Elm Street, Freddie's oh. first victim. Mm -hmm. And she was in Fast Times at Ridgemont High, but mostly just as a, a bit player. Oh, yeah. Uh, Mr. Kerber, of course, was Vincent Chiavelli, who was a great character actor, known for many, many things. Uh, didn't he ask Beth out, too, or ask him? Yeah. He, he was had... the first one to ask yeah. if he could ask Beth out. Right, right. You mind if I date? Beth, <laughs> uh, Rocco, uh, who was the boss at the burger joint, uh, that uh, was Chuck Mitchell, who's also a porky, porky, porky. yeah, yeah, uh, and uh, Pat Pig, yeah, Pat, Pat Pig. <laughs> oh, that's why I was Pat, I just put it all together, yeah, yeah, oh, me too. Yisuk Ri was uh, you uh, was played by Yuji Okamoto, and of course, we know him from Karate Kid 2 and Cobra Kai. Yeah, he's great uh, in Cobra Kai. And overdubbed by uh, the great Rich Little. But I had read or heard someplace, maybe my friend, our, our friend Matt told me this, that that uh, that uh, Yuji had mastered that impression, but they went ahead and overdubbed it anyway. Is that true? Does anybody know that? No, I, I wouldn't put it past him, though. Yeah. To, for trying to learn the impression. Yeah, it's just weird. And if they but, worked so hard and got it, why they got Rich Little? They, they, there was a lot of discussion of of uh, things that were told to actors that were going to happen with this movie that never did. That's one of the main reasons. They, they, why Meyer. Cusack didn't? Yeah, he did. He didn't want to work with him again. He was he. He had to. He had to contractually. He sued them. Yeah, to, to really to not. But yeah, they told yeah. him like you you got one more movie, and this was a month before they started shooting. Um, one crazy one summer. Crazy summer. Yeah. They shot a scene with uh, with Diane Franklin where she walks by and waves to him, and they have like a little wink and a nod, but they cut it. 
uh, for that film. Uh, Roy Stalin was played by an actor named Aaron Dozier. He quit acting in 1985 and was last known for coaching Boston College's ski team. Hmm. So he really was a skier. I guess so. <laughs> I wonder uh, how many times he used that clipboard line. Who'd like to uh, hold my clipboard? You'll make a fine little helper. What's your name? Charles DeMar. Shut up, geek. <laughs> Uh, and then the last person, uh, of course, we mentioned in the trivia game, school dance singer was uh, E.G. Daly. Mm. And uh, she was Dottie in Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Yeah, I always liked her. And uh, she's in Valley Girl, Streets of Fire. Uh, she's the voice of Babe and Babe. And mm. uh, she's done tons of television appearances and voice work. And she did uh, the, one of the Powerpuff Girls. Mm-hmm. Yeah, was so. she, wasn't she on Rugrats? Yeah, yeah she does Rugrats, too. Too. Rugrats too. Yep. Yeah. So, Better Off Dead on Rotten Tomatoes has 77% in the tomato meter, 87% audience score based on 50,000 ratings. So that means people really like it, of course. Uh, tomato meter, people didn't like it when it came out. It got bad reviews. Um, really? Yeah. And yeah, it was it was a flop. And it was because of the era that it became a hit. You had VHS rental and... Um, and of course, once it was on HBO and you could record it off of there, I watched it. I think I went and watched it every day for like a month. Oh, yeah. Did anybody here see this at the movies? I did not. No. I no. Know. Jeff, did you? You would have been no. 14, 15. No. no, no. no. Uh, it was one of the first movies when we got uh, HBO and cable running through uh, East Tennessee where we live. My grandmother had her VCR. My uncle taped this movie. It was one of the first, you know, movies on her shelf uh but he missed the first three minutes and started it in and i must have watched it a hundred times growing up but it was i was in my mid-20s when i rewatched it for the first time and saw the first three minutes i mean i had everything else <laughs> memorized but i had never yeah. seen the first three minutes <laughs> but yeah i love that uh... Yeah, so, you know, and and you can get a lot of information about the movie if you listen to Curtis Armstrong's book uh, or read it. You know, you could read it. I like to listen to it because he narrates it himself. Oh, yeah. That must be a great book. It is. And he talks about his whole career because he was filming Clan of the Cave Bear. Yeah. And with Daryl Hannah. Yeah. And they're in Canada and Savage Steve Holland's trying to, he wrote Charles DeMar for Curtis Armstrong and wanted it there. And of course, that's you know, Ricky, risky business had been out. And yeah. So he won he wanted him to do it, and so he, they're trying to get a hold of him. He's in Canada. They can't they can't contact him, and uh, and then his agent you know took the job for less money than he wanted. So I mean, you can find all this stuff about, but he has some insight in there. And uh, Lane, I've been going to the school for six years. Yes. I'm no dummy. I'm no dummy. <laughs> 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 And then, uh, yeah, like we, we touched about it briefly, the um, John Cusack, there's an, an interview with him on uh, the Nerdist podcast with Chris Hardwick and, and Hardwick kind of, you know, keeps nudging him toward Better Off Dead and some of his older movies because he can be kind of a douche. Can he? Yeah. Uh, yeah. John, yeah, Cusack, yeah, he can be kind of arrogant. We oh, saw him Cusack. on the panel at Dragon Con. He was a dildo. Yeah, yeah, I asked him a kiss-ass question, though, so I knew that he would answer. <laughs> remember, I, I remember that. Max, that movie Max. Yeah. It was a good movie, but uh, yeah, but I asked that specifically. Do you think that's like what the, we're going through now? I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, but I do. I always liked him. I like a lot of the movies that he's been in, I, um, and he's a good actor, fine actor. Uh, in fact, I kind of you know worshipped him a little bit when I was younger, but whatever. Yeah, Gross Point Blank. That, yeah. Uh, it's one of my but favorite when, movies of all time. I mean, when Being John Malkovich came out, I think that was the first time I was like, oh, yeah, he's he's really good. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, who is this guy? I goes. knew him from 80s movies, but, you know, here you go with Malkovich. I mean, at the end of the movie, would you have gone with, what's her name, the French girl, or would you have gone with Beth? I would have gone with Monique in a heartbeat. Beth. Yeah. Bitch. Banging everybody. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Well, you like that? Well, I mean, look, she was a bitch and everything, but <laughs> she kind of had... wasn't. Wasn't she going to leave once her her foreign exchange stuff was over? You were right. Yeah. There's that too. I think part of it was that before it changed, I think on one crazy summer was going to have her in it. Really? 
Yeah, because she's like I said, they shot a scene with her, but they cut it out of the movie instead of dummy. Yeah. Well, I would have been devastated because that's you know most of all my good memories from childhood are the last song of the movie on HBO before I went oh, yeah. to bed. Yep. So that's like all my memories are influenced by that. And the end of the movie, the two of them are sitting on his car in Dodger Stadium. Mm-hmm. And it's the uh, Rupert Hine does the track Eyes Like Starlight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You remember that song? Eyes Like Starlight with yep. one look. That's one of those songs yeah. where I'll just be like, oh, I'm so all happy. Right. <laughs> my life's yeah. gonna turn out good but it's not but it, i thought it might at 12 that's one you're, of those movies you're right that uh, those songs do make an impression you know like the one at the end of breakfast club and yeah 16 yeah. candles and, uh, yeah you're right real the genius Hale, the van halen time oh yeah here's here's going back to uh yeah everybody wants some. everybody wants some that yeah. that whole scene is just so crazy now well i found out about that scene the reason they did the animation is originally uh a rat got cooked in the fryer and Lane put it on a sandwich and they shot <laughs> the scene and the studio said it would gross out the audience. So they right. created that animation specifically to cover that scene. That's weird, isn't it? And yeah. And you know, the scene made the film better because that's just yeah. a weird thing. And you know, it is weird, but I think back when we used to watch it, it didn't seem so weird because movies were just yeah. Like that, but you know, I thought about that scene recently because somebody posted or whatever. I'm like, mm-hmm. hey, that is just really odd <laughs> in the middle Absolutely. of this movie, you know. And well, the lot of a lot of that movie was was groundbreaking in that you know the studio wanted everybody at that time wanted we want the next Fast Times at Ridgemont High. So you had to have hot girls and you had to right. have boobs and you had to have this. It didn't have the boobs and eh, it didn't have the nudity. Close. No, yeah. but it didn't have that. And it was a little darker and the humor was a little bit more over your head than yeah. in a lot of movies. Not saying that Fast Times at Bridge My High isn't a funny movie or well written or anything, because it is, but there were a lot of teen comedies like hard bodies or shit like that. It was just, hey, we're gonna have this and then tits. <laughs> yeah, this yeah. was surreal. Yeah. Ski I mean, this... Patrol. Yeah, ski patrol. Hot and tub. Then he, and then a year later, um I Ferris thought. Bueller's Ferris Bueller comes out. Yeah, a year after the the next year after this, and I always thought those two movies, even though they're you know the storylines are so crazy in in Better Off Dead that they're very similar, as far as Cusack started that like a narrative of a teenager, yeah, in his world, and and he was the first one, and that movie was the first one of those for the eighties, really. I mean, in that context, kind of like John Hughes did, you know, later on, but. Mm-hmm. It just never received the recognition for it. I mean, we all looking back on it now give it the yeah. recognition, but it definitely didn't have it at the time. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, because all those movies after that just came from the yeah, high schoolers' that, profe- perspectives. Yeah. You know, I was looking. Okay. At this. Go ahead, Steph. I was just gonna say, not everybody loved this movie. I mean, there's a certain sect of people that loved it, like all of us. We all yes. liked it, and I think it was just like it kind of. If you were part of that sub- subculture, right. you were always kind of like an oddball and you liked weird stuff. Like, I remember the first time I saw Natural Born Killers at the movies, I was like, what the fuck is this? Huh. This is insane. And yeah. I, I love it. And the girl that I went with was like, that was fucking horrible. I don't yeah. even know what we just sat through. Yeah. And that's when I realized you're dumb and I'm not dumb. <laughs> Yeah, and I feel like that's that's kind of like people that like Better Off Dead. You know, you're not stupid. That's why you like it. I yeah, used it. Board. I used it as a friend barometer when yeah. I was a kid. Yeah. Oh, you did very if much. You knew so. lines from it. You yeah, know, you they, yeah. If you could say person. a line and they said a line back, yep. we were good. Yeah. She only speaks French, Roy. She doesn't speak imbecile. <laughs> Are you enjoying <laughs> your stay in our town? <laughs> I say, Monique. <laughs> Are you? He puts his testicles all over me. <laughs> it's like you said, though, Ira. I mean, you're you're the name of your group, G. Sorry, your mom blew up, Ricky. Yeah. But when he delivers that line, the yeah. way that he delivers it, too, <laughs> just the whole visual of it, of, of Ricky yeah. being in the back seat, all hunched up, right, trying to be in between the two of them. Oh yeah, it's so glasses. perfect. It, it, we quickly try. He he <laughs> yeah. quickly tries to glaze over the statement by saying, "I guess she has to stay away from spicy <laughs> foods <laughs> for a while." <laughs> Go that like, way really fast. <laughs> if something gets in your way, turn. <laughs> That's great when she does the callback at the end. You know, and says the same thing to him. Do you think 
that uh, Curtis Armstrong was a hero for guys like me in the 80s. Between that role specifically and, of course, Booger in uh, yeah. the, the Nerve. Mm -hmm. uh, I just worship that dude. Hey, you know, one, one other scene, though, that was very funny to me, and there was no words in it at all, is when the paper boy when he went off the side of the mountain yeah. on his uh, modded out BMX. Just... <laughs> There's something following them. <laughs> it's real aardvark fur. <laughs> Everybody's going to be wearing one of these this year. And then the neighbor guy's wearing it when it yeah. comes out. Yeah. Like, every time he says, sure is warm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like warm. Sure. Is warm. Oh my God! And when Lane, when Lane's unwrapping all of those TV dinners, this one is fried oh. chicken. Yeah, and it has mashed potatoes. And, and I know you like mashed. And that potatoes. was real too. Yep. Oh yeah. Yeah. Except it wasn't Christmas. It was his birthday, and his mom brought him home two frozen dinners for his birthday, <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, "This is my life." <laughs> I found out. um this and this is from IMDb. Uh, Japanese American actor Yuji Okumoto was so excited to audition for the role of the Asian brother with the Howard Cosell affectation that he studied every tape of world wide world of sports so he could get uh, so he could practice and do a believable impression. Knowing his character learned English exclusively through sports, he decided to add in an Asian accent to his voice. That's why they ended up going with uh, with Rich Little. They wanted to Wait, he but, added an Asian accent? What do you yeah, mean? Yeah, he, uh, well, yeah. Well, because he was supposed to have learned English from Howard Cosell. Yes, I, mean, he, I see. He was doing yeah. as an Asian guy, learning English. How would from that have sounded? He got too inside his head. Yeah. It would have Realizing sounded like something that would get us canceled. So Absolutely. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. That's a shame. Uh, more facts about the movie. Lane's little brother, Badger, had no lines the entire film. True. Scooter Stevens, right? Mm -hmm. And what happened to him? <laughs> He was a yeah, kid actor. He did a few things in yeah. the 80s, but he just kind of... He launched a rocket at the end of the thing, didn't you? Don't you remember? Yeah, yeah. He, took, he took off in the in the space shuttle. Right, right, that's what happened to him. He's still cutting coupons out of the back of Captain Crunch. That was the best. <laughs> With trashy women. Yeah, I remember that was my mother's... My mom liked this movie, I remember. And that was her favorite scene when all the cereal was pouring out of the holes in the Or like when, they, when the cat food, when it, Lane almost ate the cat food. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right. He had it right up. And uh, the movie ends with the movie's over. You can go home now. That's another thing that's like. Uh, oh, Ferris Bueller. Ferris Bueller. Yeah. 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 What are you doing here? Go. Go. It's then, over. Then, then yeah. that was redone again in Deadpool. Was and it? I, yeah, he at the very end. Yeah. If you get to the very end of the credits, he does yeah. the exact scene, but in the Deadpool mask, he comes out the hallway and the oh, road. So we should talk about one crazy summer t sometime. We did talk about it with a little bit with Joel Murray. Uh, if we could get him back on, maybe he would talk to us more about it because that that was the next film. And uh, of course, I don't know what Cusack thought of that film. I don't really think that he hated Better Off Dead. He just thought it should have been darker. And it will, you know, yeah. but again, he's kind of an elitist. I think Heels is coming back soon for season two, so maybe he'll come on to talk about that, and then we can, yeah, do one crazy summer. These little factoids again; these come from IMDb. When Beth shows up at the dance, there's someone behind her wearing Freddy Krueger's sweater. So that's <laughs> a look for look for when you watch it. Uh, and that was put in there. Was, I guess today that would be an Easter egg. Oh yeah. Uh, they originally considered Clint Howard for Ricky Smith, but boy, he would have been too old even then. Yeah. Just as no, creepy he's... looking, though. Yeah. But too little. I mean, Ricky had to be like that, yeah. that, <laughs> that kind of steamboat look to him. Right. Love. The language of love. <laughs> Jenny Maya, you really go. The... What did she say? Oh, Jenny Maya, you really go to the outer limits. Yeah, something like Peru. that. Fabulous <laughs> liqueur. Yes. Right. Elaine comes out with the what's he's got the tie wrapped around his head, right? Yes. He's yeah, soaked the, in gasoline. The sheet, like yeah, the bread's it, yeah, like the wrapped sheet. around him. And like, you know, nobody says a word. <laughs> he just comes out and sits at the table. Well, he, the, tosses, the he, said, oh, he tosses primer the, on it. Yeah, he tosses the primer lid, like oh, drops yeah. it nope. and on his dad's shoulder, and his dad's like like no, the rag. figure out where it's coming from. The rag, yeah. Yeah, the rag and his dad is the <laughs> But good. me, you see a man. <laughs> what was that song? 
he opens up the bathroom door and Lane's got all the Q tips yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it just closes the door man. this was the first time I ever heard blues no. the manish child the oh manish yeah boy. what a what a killer I didn't know what blues music was really I mean uh weird science I had seen weird science but this that was only these movies did yeah. I know anything about blues music but then I was interested in it and then I started listening to blues yeah. music more I think I that may kid. have helped me as well I mean that that scene where he pulls up in the car and it's uh yeah man it's it, it's so badass you, you have to you yeah. were like I'm getting a harmonica <laughs> damn it today <laughs> made a mistake there the movie that he that Cusack was known for prior to Better Off Dead coming out was 16 candles and he was yeah. credited as geek number two there. right <laughs> well you take those ridiculous things off yes <laughs> but he had shot a film right and it hadn't come out yet but uh henry winkler liked that movie and he's the one who suggested that they they go with john cusack really? the studio studio was like no nah, we don't know if he could be a lead actor and uh you know I, th I think it was henry winkler and savage steve holland really went to bat huh. you know through a fit until they they agreed on it so well, wasn't the short sure thing a pretty big sure movie? thing yeah it was in the can it hadn't come out yet i see, I yeah. see. and henry winkler was in the sure thing with yes. was he? yeah and that was the 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 girl in that was the girl that was in space balls what, what was daphne, her name? Zuniga. daphne oh, Zuniga. Yeah, yeah i loved her I oh, was it, melrose place joe oh yeah yeah. Yeah. Place, uh, yeah no i didn't know that she was so, a photographer who rode a motorcycle if you've never seen Better Off Dead or you would like to see it again. Why are you listening to this? <laughs> Paramount Plus, exactly. If you have Paramount Plus, uh, that's where it's streaming right now. Or you could find it elsewhere. You can order it off of Amazon, find an old VHS. Maybe you have one in your basement. Jeff, you're the, you have all your old VHS tapes, don't you? <laughs> no. Oh, I thought you kept them all. No. Just a porn. He's got Just VHS <laughs> tapes, but it's not anything we should be playing on. Yeah. <laughs> Better off head. <laughs> <laughs> One get, crazy. Yeah. No, there's a he's got One a snuff crazy film hummer. called he's got a snuff <laughs> film called Getter Off Dead. <laughs> uh, yeah, he has to like he tries and of course he's doing it, it doesn't work. So then he has to do the everybody wants some scene and make the Frankenstein. So that's and bring her back, yeah. Well, hey, Ira, do you have yeah. anything you want to plug? We got to wrap up, but I appreciate it. Talk a little about the portal pinball, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm the only one that's yeah. been there. Does everybody know about that? Yes. Yes. Are, yeah. are you guys going to go out there? Yes. 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 Yeah, I might bring Gil. Jeff and I were texting, I don't know, like a month ago. And he, he's, yeah, so if, if nobody knows, Jeff and I share a birthday, which is the 17th coming up. Yeah, there. by the way, I hope you had a good birthday. Oh, thank you. Because this is well, after. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah well, it was awesome Sweet. and i said i think i texted jeff and said what are we doing for our <laughs> for our birthdays this year which i don't think we've ever done anything together and just on a whim i said let's go to portal and get a beer because they have they got a great bar now and everything and he was like yeah let's do it and then uh what did you you just put something out that says let's have a radio get yeah, together? Said, let's let's just invite everybody and to let yeah. the radios come and stuff. I know that we got a couple radios that live in Ackworth, so yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, why well, went? Have you guys been to their old location? No, I've never mm -hmm. been there at all. Never. Mm -mm. Okay, so they used to be in Kennesaw. Um, it's a husband and wife that opened the business. I I don't know them well, but or at all, and uh, I guess they had a bunch of pinball machines in their basement and then you know they know how to work on them too so both of them i think tinker with this stuff and get them you know they find vintage stuff and they get them working but um yeah i think they have 40 pinball machines in there and then a bunch of vintage video games you know like they had joust and off-road and missile command and Sweet. of course the galagas and dig dugs and all that jeff was awesome at joust yeah well i mean man i were supposed to have joust it out off. yeah joust off well, that was a little thing we had going on the side, but <laughs> got a little job we'll for you on there the side. as well. <laughs> a little job for you on the side, honey. Yeah. So the twenty fourth, right, Jeff? Yeah, five to seven p.m. Five to seven, and just make sure you're at their new location, which is Ackworth. But if you look it up on Google Maps or their Facebook page, it shows the right address. And um, yeah, they um, they got the solo and the carbonite. Uh, is on like oh, the, sweet. the oh, giant cool. uh refrigerator back there that's a good Jeff, will pickle come to this 
Eh, yep. I don't know. We'll see. The, he's not into retro video games? It's a fucking long drive, Jeff. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, Accord is a hall from where we live. It's and it's home. awesome. I mean, if you can pay, I don't know. I'm not sure of the pricing, but I think it's 10 bucks for, for an hour. But then if you pay like 20 bucks, you can play all day or, or uh-huh. something. I mean, it's cheap. Anyway. Yeah, you don't have to put quarters in the games. They're all rigged, right? Yeah, no, you don't have to put quarters in. I, and I'll tell you what. The only thing that kind of sucks about that, actually, is you'll go over to a pinball machine and somebody just left it on like ball four because nobody cares. <laughs> You know, because back in the day, you'd have your quarter and like, I'm playing this thing all the way through. You know, right, you don't right. want to waste. And now it's like, well, I paid for the hour. If I'm getting bored with this, I just leave. So a oh, lot of times right. you'll go up to a machine and it's just sitting there, you know, on like player three. And I'm like, ah, oh, geez. Yeah, well, I'll finish my games. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> yeah. Remember well, the Simpsons pinball game and the Terminator pinball game? Terminator oh, yeah. pinball games. Those are great. Oh, yeah. Earl Smith one. Those are and fun. they have uh they have adam's family remember that one oh yeah, yeah. um they, they got the kiss one they don't have the kiss one but they got some good newer ones like they, they have the mandalorian which is a oh. great one um they got a, another star wars one um trying to remember and then you know on the back side they have all these vintage ones going back to like they gotta be like 50s you know oh and it's, cool it's cool as shit to play one of those you know just to say you did it and you know to hear the actual bells ringing and stuff yeah 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 all right so um, where and when is that again jeff the 24th mm-hmm. 5 to 7 p.m yes Portal pinball in Ackworth. all right no presents we're not you doing this any, for our birthday it's just no, a hang no presents. just come yeah. hang out you got, any gigs? you got any gigs coming up ira mm-hmm. uh no actually i i don't but fat matt's is finally opened back up to music and sweet that's still one of my favorite places to play is this is the the blues bar on uh, north side still open north side tavern it is There's yeah a lot of stuff that's uh, it used to just be like a scary parking lot but nothing about it and now it's just all businesses oh it's, no it's ridiculous stuff. yeah you want to try to park around there forget about it oh no you can't yeah Uber down breakfast. there but, but north side is it's yeah. an institution though we used to go there when i first moved here the first couple of years i would go there and get drunk and have fun and listen to blues but it was it was kind of like you'd leave there and like oh quick walk to your car quick hurry up get out of here well i don't know if you guys know about this but there's actually a documentary coming out about northside i did not know that yeah and i'll I'll, uh i'll post about that and i was interviewed for it sweet so you're in it i'm in it yeah all Um, right cool yeah it's great this guy got this guy's done a bunch of other documentaries about stuff around town he's a really good filmmaker Let's have and, him on. Um, let's have him yeah. on here and promote it. Yeah, for actually, sure. that's that's not a bad idea. He's a and good also guy. the podcast, so it can be on uh, radio. All right. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll let him know about that. Cool. Well, I appreciate you joining us. It's good to see you again and hear your voice and, and your contributions. Well, thanks for the invite. Yeah, yeah and we'll see you for Portal Pinball. We'll see you for Portal Pinball. You damn straight. See you Saturday. This episode is brought to you by Atlanta Pizza and Euro. I want to thank Atlanta Pizza and Euro, our longtime sponsor, and thank Mike Hall and everyone else at the restaurant. Stop by the restaurant and grab an ice cold local draft beer like Wicked Weed's Pernicious IPA in cans and Tantrum Brewing's Poems at Midnight Sour Berliner Weisse on tap. If you're a business or corporate client who's looking for a food truck for your next private event or catered luncheon, please contact Mike Hall at Atlanta Pizza in Euro by calling 770-483-6228. Atlanta Pizza in Euro loves serving their local community of Conyers, Covington, and the East Metro Atlanta area, and would like to thank them for all their continued support and business throughout the years. Open for dine-in and takeout Monday through Friday from 11 to 9, Saturday from 12 to 9, closed on Sunday. Hey, do you have a commercial or residential construction printing need? Well, what are you waiting for? Contact LDI Repro Printing of Athens, in Athens, Georgia, since 2005, with fast turnaround and affordable prices. Call 706-316-9366 or email them at athens at ldiline.com. Views, views. Or, 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 or. And snooze. Views. 
So what do we got in views or snooze this week? Uh, Atlanta final season starts this week on FX. Last this season was it. crazy, but it's it's good. It's the last one? Yeah, this is the final season. I think they should film them back to back. Oh, okay. I didn't finish the last season. You didn't? Mm-mm. Kind of went off the rails got for too me. Weird. Yeah. I don't yeah. like it. Season one. So all three of these are going to be a snooze for me. I'll probably snooze this one. Yeah, um, it was good. It just said it, it was kind of weird because there were so many episodes that didn't have any of the main characters in it. Yeah, but Jim, this is the Jim final season. Will make so me I'm watch it. it out. <laughs> so yeah. It's going to be a views for me. Uh, Los Spookies comes back this week on HBO, season two. Los I'm going to say that. snooze. I tapped out of that too. Did you? I, I enjoyed season one. I didn't even know it was there was away. a season one. I've never heard of it. Yeah, we talked about it a while ago. Sounds it's, familiar. Fred Armisen, isn't it? And that one writer from Saturday Night Live, where they play like the Mexican Ghostbusters kind of thing. Oh, yeah. That was weird. Yeah, it's yeah. Weird, weird, but it's funny. <laughs> Anyway, that comes back. And then number three, Quantum Leap reboot starts this week on NBC. Who's starring in that? It's the guy from Lost, isn't it? The, Raymond the Asian Lee. guy. I saw a trailer for it during football. It didn't look interesting to me. Let's get Ernie Hudson. I liked the old Quantum Leap, though. And if they're doing the same concept. I don't think it's the guy from Lost, is it? No. I don't know who we I'm not sure Lost. who it is. Raymond Lee. Why couldn't they just get Scott Bakula back again? Uh, he's on the NCIS or whatever. Oh. He was in the Lost City. Oh, the Lost City. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. That recent, yeah. I might view it. I'm going to view it just because I was a fan of the old one. And I'll, I'd like to see how they keep it going. It was too quirky. The original one is too quirky to me to remake. I like the cast and I'm not interested. So it'll yeah, probably no, be. No Dean Stockwell. Yeah. No. And they hit all they the died, beats. So. They hit all the good historical beats pretty much with the first season, the first series. It'd be kind of hard to yeah. hit a lot of those again. Well, they do the last thirty years. There's all kinds of yeah, shit they true. could change over the last thirty years because yeah. this, this whole last chunk has been a big pile of shit. We're gonna <laughs> leave fix all of it. And, uh, and decide not to crash the plane. Into that's that's the... what, that's he, what he I was go, thinking. He goes to he goes to Wuhan and stops that guy from eating that bat. <laughs> It all starts with those towers, though. They fix that. Everything else is good. Well, you know, he'd have to fly in. If he leapt into Muhammad Atta, he would have to fly into the building because that's what Muhammad Atta did. I see. He jumps in the, he jumps in the gorilla sanctuary and saves Harambi or Harambi or whatever his name was <laughs> and stop that, that fork from happening on the multiverse they got going on there. <laughs> There's all kinds of things he could end or stop or something. Yeah. You're saying, Tim, he couldn't not crash into the building? He'd have oh, to do it? He'd have to, yeah. <laughs> he'd have to leap out of him right before. It's momentum. Oh, right. <laughs> and then D-Day from Animal House would have to meet him in a bar and tell him how well he did. <laughs> 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 But what are you watching? Watching here. What are you watching? Okay, so what are we watching? <laughs> what are we watching? Watch. I'm all caught up on your uh, Lord of the Rings show that everybody likes. Yeah. You don't like right. it? Yeah, it's all right. I like it. I love it. I think it's pretty cool. I, wish, I love the last uh, episode. I wish uh, uh, Gandalf weren't a mute. Yeah. yeah he's learning a little. Yeah, they they kind of, they, they're they really the look, like they went for, I guess, what was his name? John Howe? the the original illustrator that did all the stuff for for Tolkien in there and and uh he was like very much so involved in creating all this look so the looks have some of those old drawings have some of those reflect some of that too which I thought was really cool they did it in the original lord of the rings but that was more of a building a world this is kind of like looking into a old picture book which is kind of cool yeah the scenery is great all the uh, the CGI and stuff is good. Um, um, I uh, I think it's a good show. I like all the acting. You guys all noped out on House of Dragons, though, huh? Oh yeah. No, I'm, I'm on. Ep I'm, I'm on episode three. Yeah, 
I'm still there. I'm still watching it. Yeah, but I think the, your uh, your your <laughs> your text that you did the other night. Uh, yeah, the uh, I don't think that happened. No, but she was gonna. She was gonna, yeah. But he just had some issues. She didn't diddle her uncle. Yeah, he could, yeah, he couldn't get it up. Now her best friend is her mother. Yeah, but yeah. yeah weirdly enough, sounds like West Virginia. Yeah, hey. Well, I oh. I, lo- I love the 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 rings though. Just the beauty of it. I mean, it's like you're watching a movie every single week. The, yeah. Mm-hmm. Just the like you said though, the visuals. The goblins are creepy and scary. That whole scene when he was trying to get out of that pit, that was very like So those aren't stakes. orcs, those are goblins. Yeah. Okay. They're goblins. They're orcs. No, the orcs are they work with the goblins, right, guys? Yeah, they, they come later. Yeah. 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 They're they, they come I'm learning as a go here, Tim. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I, yeah, I thought the same thing. I was like, wait a minute, but Neil told me they were goblins. I, my boss, he's like a Lord of the Rings. He's a Tolkien. He worships at his feet. So the first couple episodes, he was like, I just don't. And I'm a purist and I'm a bleh and I'm a da-da. And now this last episode, he goes, all right, I like it. I'm into it. <laughs> yeah. Well, the thing I like about uh, House of Dragons, House of, is it House of Dragons or House of the Dragons? House of Dragon. Uh, House of Dragons. I mean, why would you pass up marrying a twelve-year-old? <laughs> Jerry Lee Lewis did it, right? She was fourteen. Oh, I'm sorry. Or Thirteen, actually. Yeah. But he—they were getting it on probably since she was twelve. Yeah, probably. Kissing cousins, they were. <laughs> I don't know. If you're a Targaryen, you should marry a Valerian, not the uh, the hand of the king's daughter. I mean, come on now. <sighs> I have a feeling he's going to eat it soon. That guy. The, the, the one hand? that's getting the throne. No, the king. He's getting the throne poisoning. Oh, the king. Yeah. 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 He seems. He seems so put upon. Him. Maggot hands. Yeah. Yeah. That was nasty. I know that's a couple weeks ago, but that was gross as fuck. Hey, you got a cut on your hand and pour these maggots on it. Did that ever work? Yes, it worked. Yeah, that, still that, that, that's a that's a real thing. It eats yeah. your. It eats all the infected flesh and doesn't touch um live flesh. the non decaying flesh. Yeah. What do we do now instead of that? They still do that. They still they do bring, that. They're bringing it back because it actually worked. That and yeah. it actually work. It's the only oh, thing that okay. can fight necrosis, and cat, it can eat all of it before it continues to eat you. Yep. yep. Do flies ever just go ahead and? They don't last that long. They re- they, they rotate them out. Okay. They got to they yeah. eat till they're full, and then they remove them and put hungry ones in there. Yeah. <laughs> it's gross, it's gross but it works. <laughs> yeah. Oh, flesh maggots. Oh, I haven't really watched much of anything else. I, I finished the Elvis movie. The ending was better than the, the last 30 minutes was better than the uh, the entire film. <laughs> saw, you mean I the part when he it. died? Well, not so much the part when he died, but I <laughs> thought that the portrayal of the uh, the mature Elvis was really very well done. And I and I like how they transferred to the real footage of Elvis singing the, the last time he performed. I believe he did uh, uh, Unchained Melody and you know, somebody had to hold the microphone for him while he played piano, and he just belted it out. I've seen that before on YouTube, but never really heard it that well. Just it's like good. that final scene where he's eating the peanut butter banana sandwich, though, and just falls over off the toilet. <laughs> yes, and then Ginger gets up, and I, don't, I really hated Tom Hanks in that, though. It was <laughs> fucking awful. Every time yeah. he came on the screen, didn't you get mad? Yeah, and every time he opened his mouth. Hi, do we, would you like to fly? Elvis, you can't go to your rap. Didn't he seem like he? Didn't he seem like a caricature that Cartman would do of yes. of him? Yes. Like it wasn't real. I hope they bring. I hope when they do a real season, they mock it and have Cartman doing that. Colonel, that would be awesome. Colonel Eric Cartman. <laughs> they have probably already written that episode, Tim. I'm sure making butters, sure. Elvis. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, he'll be Smelvis or something. They'll do a little bit of a change. <laughs> Just heard the latest news on the radio. News, 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 news. TV, and now for the latest news. We didn't talk about the Emmys this week. I was very disappointed in the Emmys. I looked at all the nominees. It was like some shows, everybody on the show got nominated. Um, and especially the fact that uh again, uh fucking uh better call us all shut out. Yeah, shut out. Have they won any at all? Nope. That's yeah, bullshit. Absolute bullshit. 
No. They'll be we, eligible next year, though, right? I know, but for this season, yeah, yeah. Succession wins all the fucking time. I mean, uh, Succession Smart is good, was, but it didn't deserve all that shit. Gene Smart was the only one I was happy that won. Did Tim Robinson win? It, well, he won in the the, the creative Emmys that, that they didn't show on TV. Uh huh. So, like the week before the regular Emmys, but yes, he he did win for. I think it should leave. Uh huh. Nice. Well, that's good. I didn't watch it, of course. I was watching football. That was I didn't really like that game very much. Well, no, don't worry. No one else did either. Yeah, oh, I know it was the lowest <laughs> Emmys ever, lowest rated Emmys ever. I mean, I like the host. I like Keenan. I liked it. I, sh- I should have watched some of it, but again, I was watching the football game. <sighs> Do you have a thought on Kimmel's um, no. thing? Not really. I don't. Well, people are mad at him. I thought it was a joke. I mean, I. It, wasn't it, it's a joke? Com- I mean, it's comedy, yeah. and that's where it—that's what it was. Period. Yeah, but he—he—he he, he did it while a um, a woman of color was accepting an award, so he made it all about him. Yeah, he didn't know who in the hell was going to win when he went and did it. They didn't tell him right. beforehand what was in the envelope. Still, I think he needs to issue an apology. Has he yet? Usually, he apologizes. No, she's right. on the show. His show tonight, though. So. Yeah. Well, she likes him, and she said it didn't bother her. So I, that's what happens. The social media just starts shitting themselves. Yeah. And it, nothing. Right. You know. No, they do. But she likes Jimmy Kimmel, so it's stupid. Did you uh, listen to Tim Dillon this week when he was talking about Hillary Clinton's show Gutsy? No. Oh, God, Tim. It's like he did it for you. you really? You have to listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> well, she, she said she likes... She she was sitting there with Megan the Stallion and uh, and her uh, her daughter um, Chelsea. She goes, "Well, Chelsea liked rap music since she was little, but I didn't get into it until WAP." Well, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> WAP? Yeah, he was WAP. What did uh, Tim have to say about it? Oh, just you know, basically how most of the women that they have on there are all rich, entitled. Yeah, you know. It's mm-hmm. like, oh, you're so gutsy. It's easy to be gutsy. And he was like, um, is there a school teacher from Detroit on there? <laughs> Maybe a, a cop from South Central, like a yeah. woman, you know, I mean, none of that shit. No. Yeah. But he was yeah. just shredding it. And then he, I'm gonna talk to my rich friends. <laughs> and he went on to say that he goes, I don't care if you graduated from Columbia. Or you live, you know, whatever in Astoria and you buy like fancy food at bistros or whatever. He goes, if you watch Gutsy, you're a fucking retard. And he said that word. He said it. Yes. But you're stupid. Saying that word. Stupid. He says it all the time. I know. Yeah, the R word's coming back. I told how, you. How could it's it coming be coming back with a vengeance? <laughs> I mean, I agree that it's a useful word. Uh, and not at all related to, uh, you know, the people that used to be called that. Yeah, I liked him. He's he's great. I, the last thing I saw him on was with uh, was with uh, Bert. Yeah, uh, that was good. Yeah, that was, that was good. good. Um, he bookends the show with um, the Freedom Rally. Oh, yeah. Uh, where he talks about that. And he was like, we always knew the Trump scam would end in a field in Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> I uh I I watched uh, you guys ever watch uh Pat McAfee on YouTube his show? Mm-mm. I have once or twice, yeah. Yeah, he was the kicker for the Indianapolis Colts, and now he's like the dominant, the dominant person talking about sports, football specifically, or you know, in general because it's football season. But that's a fun show, man. It's it's like you take the ESPN or the Fox News where they have all these you know, blathering idiots talking about everything and social issues. This guy's just like stoned out of his mind. He's wearing a tank top and a big chain. He's from Pittsburgh. So he has the Yinzer accent and he says, fuck every other word. So it's a lot of fun. Yeah. It's like what you wish a sports show would, yeah. would sound like, yeah. You know, right. Like your friends talking. Yeah. Yeah. And he has Aaron Rodgers on and, and a bunch of different, uh, uh, different people and, on uh, Monday Night Football this this past week, I did watch instead of watching it on TV or watching it with the regular crew, which now they have uh, Troy and uh, Joe. Which ugh. anyway, I watched uh, the the <laughs> Manning brothers, and that was a lot of fun. Oh yeah, how they? Yeah, you haven't it. watched them before. I I always watch them when no, I've watched when them they before. Have an option to do them. Yeah, they had Saquon Barkley on this week. It was good. Eli, 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 
Eli, Eli. He just makes fun of his brother the whole time. Right. Well, I was so jacked after watching Hard Knocks. I was all pumped up for the season for the Lions, which I still they I mean, won that game. It was a yeah. tight. It was tight. It was a good game, I guess. I don't know, but I'm hoping like Eagles? hell they win the next one. Yeah, I hate the fucking Eagles, man. Nobody hate the it. Eagles. Except for Jeff's brother. Mm. It's the only Eagles fan I've ever known in real life. Well, except for my family, but I don't really know them. <laughs> well, and you know, the entire cast of Always Sunny. Yeah, well, oh, Lord, yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, Rob McElhaney is apologizing again. What did he do? I, I just read some. No, he apologizes for the episodes of the show that they don't have on there anymore. Oh, those are the, some of the best ones. Yeah, oh, why? Because they're not PC? Yeah, well, he wants to keep working. He wants to continue his <laughs> career. So, Yeah. It, the they happened. I mean, I don't know why they think that the shows didn't happen. They happened. So they took them down. They're not up anymore. Yeah, you can't get But them. we already saw them. We already he knew did. they happened. Yeah. And I grabbed them off of uh, BitTorrent because uh, you can't get them. So I want to own them and watch them if I feel I like. want to know which ones that they felt were not. The Wiz, okay. I guarantee you, is one of them. Uh, yeah, I'll tell you. I can I can look at my uh, downloads here. Uh, shit. Uh, God damn, it doesn't have the names. Uh, the Gang Recycles Their Trash is one. What? Really? They took that one off for why? I don't huh, know. That one makes no sense to me. Uh, America's Next Top Patty's Billboard Model Contest. That was a good one. Yeah, that was good. Uh, here's another one. Uh, D. Reynolds Shaping America's Youth. <laughs> yeah. And when uh, she becomes a teacher. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, where she's trying to be. Yeah, I know. I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. Is it like uh, Dangerous I, Minds or something? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the other one I don't have. I don't have that. I don't have the name of it. Probably the one where they they direct it. it's the Wiz, right? The yeah. Wiz, yeah, where they fall asleep with the with the old, what do they call him, the old black guy. Yeah, don't they have blackface on in that? Oh, they yeah, they become black in the mirror, and yeah. no, they don't have blackface on. They just become black. Okay. <laughs> Character. Oh my God, actors, I remember but, that. Yeah. Yeah, and that's the one where, uh, yeah, he he wants to, he goes, I can say it, I can say it. <laughs> and they're like, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. don't say it. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> I can't say that was one of my favorite episodes. No, like they got rid of Frank's Little Beauties. Oh, yeah. that's the best one. With Frank's Little Beauties and um the D whenever D and Charlie take steroids from mm -hmm. season two. That's still one of my favorite episodes of all time. I've seen that one probably twenty five times. <laughs> I like the high school reunion one. That's probably one of my favorites. Yes. Yeah. Or the wedding. Whenever everybody's oh, tripping balls on that wedding. Yeah. punch. Yes. <laughs> it was milk. <laughs> it was milk, yeah. With yeah, bath yeah. salts in it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they're all like zombies. That one's great. Yeah. Uh, did you guys watch the trailer for season three of Mandalorian? Yes. Not yet. Uh, I did. Yeah. It's a cool trailer. There's some Easter eggs in there. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. I, I'm going to watch it because I, I like the Mandalorian and I want to stay in that realm. I'm not going to watch the new show, the whatever the hell it's called Andorian or whatever. Andor. Andor. Yeah. Isn't that pre uh, new hope? It's, it's right before solo. I'm uh, right before um, the other yeah, Rogue, Rogue one. one. That was a good Rogue episode. One. Yeah. Good it's Rogue the, one. it's prequel to Rogue one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't need to know any about that. Cause yeah. Cause I'm watching it going, I guess this guy's dead. Why am I going to watch this? <laughs> yeah. You know how that one's going to end. Yeah, there's too many. Too many. You didn't watch uh, um, Cobra Kai yet, though, right, Tim? No, I'm going to start that this weekend. It was a fun, yeah. little, fun little time. I, I'll be watching. I'm thinking, how many karate battles can I enjoy? I guess all of them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Every enjoy. time. <laughs> I just wish everything was settled in a karate battle. Oh, yeah. The yeah, way they do Joe it. Joe Biden and uh, Donald Trump fight each other in a karate battle. <laughs> I uh, that's a pay per view. I would put. I'd pay three hundred dollars to watch that. Really, come out like day. Old men fighting each other. Oh yeah, All I'd right, want to see that. Burp up your legs, hey! <laughs> I feel like I still feel like Biden could take him. I don't yeah. think Trump's most much of a scrapper. The Marlago Kumite. Yeah. yeah. Joe Biden's frail. Yeah, he is frail, but I feel like maybe he'd go on muscle memory or something. Yeah. Oh, Biden? No, he did yeah. do corn pop. 
Biden used to go around beating up uh, black teenagers. Was... <laughs> he did. He Wait, it was Mark it. what with Mark Wahlberg? No, no, no. Mark Wahlberg, <laughs> up an Asian guy. The, uh, it, well, he did. He yeah. beat up a black. He beat, oh, beat he up a bunch of black sure kids. I'm sure he beat up a few different. I'm sure he beat up people. Irish kids too, but we're not talking oh, yeah. about Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> we're talking about the president of the United States said that he went and got a chain so he could beat up this black kid named Corn Pop. <laughs> Hey, and, then, Pop, and then he was Corn Pop was a bad dude. Well, he says so, but we don't know. We haven't heard Corn Pop's side of the story, <laughs> and you and you never will because he's probably not real. But he was did, this in Scranton? Uh, I don't know where it was. Maybe no, nah, probably Delaware. <laughs> probably in Delaware because and then he, you know the the little kids would touch his soft blonde hair on his legs in the pool, and he'd have to wait to get out because. <clears throat> Stop it! What? It only smells hair. I don't know. This is daughter's diary. Oh, God. Hey, I'm just saying, you shouldn't shower with your family members unless you're married to them. Or How old was the daughter when they showered together? A kid. How old? It was last week. Well, I didn't know. <laughs> like, is she like 12? I mean, what is happening here? I mean, you I know that. Showered with your dad like two weeks ago. I did not shower with my dad. <laughs> Listen, um, it's all. We're not getting political here, but I mean, it's all out there. You can go find out. Uh, t Trump said on Howard Stern that he'd bang his daughter if it, she were his daughter. So, I mean, these people are weird. These people are nuts. They're wealthy. And when you're wealthy like that, you have nothing to think about. You think about your family members for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> We're all Targaryens. Wait yeah. till you guys watch Re Reservation Dogs this week. I watched it. You watched it already? Mm hmm With all the, the governor and stuff? Oh, yeah. With the fish. Yep. Hey, is there already a second season of the that Christopher Walken show and Stephen Merchant? All right. Steve, the, yeah. It's out already? Yeah. It's, it's yeah. It's done. The second season's done already. Yeah. Well, I think that's it. Oh, all right. It's already aired. Yeah. yeah. On Prime. Okay. Were they it all at the, once? The, the criminals? No, it came out like a, a month or two after the first season. Oh, all right. Oh, okay. I guess. But I, I think that's it. I got a lot to get caught up on. Should stop showering with my daughter and swimming <laughs> in a pool with little kids who rub my leg hair. Stop beating up corn pop out in the middle of the streets of Lilburn. He didn't beat him up. He got a chain, uh, you know, the chain that's in the uh, pool thing. All right, I think we got to wrap it up tonight. Uh, I want to thank our guest, Ira Malkin, for talking about Better Off Dead uh, on the podcast, which returns tonight on WSB Radio, at, I think at 9 o'clock. Uh, my guests are Marshall Childs. You guys know Marshall Childs? Oh, yeah. Oh, how's uh, he doing from the he's doing great from uh, the laughing skull lounge they have the laughing skull comedy uh festival coming up and uh another guest uh from the show uh, as i scroll through here really really quickly really really quickly uh jeff plate from trans siberian orchestra which is uh, going back out on tour after the uh, pandemic and everybody likes to go see them during uh, uh the christmas season the holiday season, the ghosts of Christmas Eve, the best of TSO and more is in Atlanta Sunday, December 11th at uh, Gas South Arena. So if you're interested in that, check that interview out. And uh, do, 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 do. hey, if you are watching this on YouTube, like and subscribe. If you're listening on Spotify, leave us a review and rate us and all that stuff. Uh, even if you're a, a listener only, please go to the YouTube page and subscribe just so we can get our numbers up and share it with your friends. Follow us on all of our social media platforms. And if you're interested in becoming a Patreon member, you can simply go to patreon.com slash Tim Andrews. Uh, don't forget Portball, Portball, Portal Pinball Saturday on the 20th fourth uh from 5 to 7 p.m uh please come and visit us 3335 cobb parkway northwest uh in ackworth georgia uh check it out at portball portalpinball.com celebrate steph ira and jeff the september birthday bunch and uh, play some pinball no wizards allowed and you can't go on tilt and by the way happy birthday jeff and ira we will talk to you next how old are you now jeff 453 53. Ah, you old fuck. All right. We will talk to you guys next week. So until that time, please remember to give me my $2 and keep, keep it 10. 10.